Hi, I'm Ben Griffiths. I'm a principal dancer with uh, Pacific Northwest Ballet, and I'm going to be teaching a uh, circuit workout. It's uh, unisex, so men and women uh, can do the workout, and we're using um, abnormal equipment that we can find in the grocery store so that everyone can do the workout whether or not they have any equipment at home. Um, so what I'm using is uh, one loop resistance band um, that you can find on Amazon. Um, and then I'm using these two gallon jugs of uh, spring water. And then I have two like medium-sized smart water bottles. Um, and I'll be using these for the various exercises. Obviously, um, the, resistance you, the resistance you choose is up to you. Uh, so if, you, if I'm using like two jugs for an exercise, you can obviously just use one or none. Right? So you can gauge your own resistance. Um, I'll also be using my phone to time some of the exercises, okay? All right, we're gonna start with a warm-up. So for the first exercise, we're actually gonna start with a plank. We're gonna hold the plank for one minute. All right, so we're gonna start on our forearms. Here we go. So in the plank, you wanna have um, a straight line through your body. You wanna try not to have rounded shoulders or depressed shoulders, right? So you want to flat back across the top, drawing your stomach in towards your spine for the entire exercise. Right, you don't want to drop your neck, right? You want to have your eyes looking towards the floor uh, with your head extended towards the wall in front of you and your heels extending out towards the wall behind you. Good, we're about halfway there. It's a good reminder every time you exhale, you draw those abs up and in further towards your spine. You can also have your um, glutes engaged like you're standing in first position. That helps brace your core as well. All right, five more seconds, and then we're gonna press up into a downward facing dog. All right. So pressing back, you can spread your feet out a little bit so they're hip width apart. We want to press our um, pointer finger and thumb into the floor, so we're taking pressure off of our wrists. Long neck, shoulders away from the ears, heels pressing down to the floor, and tailboning, tailbone extending diagonally back. We we'll, can prance our feet for eight, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good, and then finding another stretch heels dropping to the floor. With an inhale, we can lift our right leg up in parallel, opening up the hip, keeping our shoulders square to the floor, getting a stretch through our psoas. Extending the leg, we'll bring it through, taking our arms up into a lunge. Trying to square off your hips. Good, now I'm gonna to turn to a different angle for the camera, but you guys can stay facing where you are. We'll bring our other leg back down towards our plank. Stepping back into downward facing dog. We'll do the same thing with our other leg. So lifting our left leg up in parallel. We'll open it up, keeping our shoulders square, feeling a stretch in our psoas. Extending the leg, we can swing it through between our, hand, our hands. Coming up into a runner's lunge, shoulders are down, long necks, right? Bringing your left hip back, right hip forward. We can place um, our hands down, step our foot forward, and we can roll up to stand. Feet hip width apart, we can just roll our shoulders for eight. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight. And then we'll roll our neck for eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Reversing the circles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Reversing the next circle. Two, Three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, coming to second position. We'll do arm one, we'll do a plie two, three, four, then we're gonna drop into a ground plie and pulse, five, six, seven, eight, side bend, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, again, one, two, three, four, all the way down to ground plie, five, six, seven, eight, again, over, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good, so that was our warm up portion. Um, so now we're gonna start our circuit workout. We're gonna do uh, three sets of the workout, right? There are 12 exercises and uh, you can gauge the amount of resistance you wanna use, like I said earlier. So we're gonna start with our band and one or two of the, the gallon jugs, okay? So I'm gonna place this band around my ankles to start. Good, and then I'm gonna grab my jugs, all right? Okay, so we're gonna do our sidestep with overhead press and squat combo, okay? So we're gonna do up, two, three, four, five. You can omit six, the overhead press if that's seven, too much and just focus eight, on keeping your hips nine, square as you sidestep. 11, 12. Then we'll do six squats here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Good, starting the other direction. One, two, three, four, five, six. And six squats. One, two, three, four, five. Try to get your hips all the way down in line with your knees at the bottom. Six, good. We can set our uh, water down. Keeping the band around our ankles, we'll go ahead and lie on our side. Uh, legs bent at a 90 degree angle. You can kind of prop yourself up with your hand. All right, we're doing reverse clamshells, trying to keep our knees together and open using internal rotation. All right, so as you see, I don't have very much, so um, hopefully you guys will be able to do more with your band. We're gonna do eight of these. Five, six, Seven, eight, good. Switching to our other side. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, now we're gonna stay on the floor. We're gonna bring the band up so it's above our knees, okay? We're gonna do the same thing, but with real clamshells, working our external rotation, right? So try not to open our hip, keeping hips square towards the wall in front of you. Open and close, we're gonna do 16. Two, and three, and four, and five, and six, seven, eight. Think of it, there's a wall behind you, so you're not gonna open your hips past the wall as you open your leg, right? So just really, really working with your own rotation. I think that's 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Other side, right? Doing this exercise to help us stabilize our turnout muscles when we stand up later, right? Keeping those muscles in shape so when we get back to class, we have all that muscle tone. This is five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, Two more, 15 and 16. Good, we can go ahead and slide the band off of our feet. 
staying down on the floor, we can go ahead and grab one of our water gallons again. Um, this time I'm gonna hold it from the bottom. I'm gonna lie back. I'm gonna find tabletop, bracing my abs, right? Abs really low against the spine the entire exercise. Arms will be straight. We'll crunch our shoulders off the ground and we'll extend legs and arms out and use our abs to bring our legs back in. We'll do 12 of these. Out, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, two more, 11, 12, right? So a reminder, when you do the exercise, you only want your legs to go as low as you can controlling your center, right? So if your back starts to arch, right, and you feel the work in your hip flexors, bring those legs up a little bit, okay? All right, from here, we're gonna come into a plank, and we're just gonna do some controlled mountain climbers, bringing our knees up towards our chest. One, two, and do 20, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right, so now we're gonna move on to jumping jacks, get our heart rate up a little bit, right? Warm up our legs for a little uh, more strenuous action. We're gonna do 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Good, now let's grab our medium-sized water bottles, right? We're gonna do a single leg Romanian deadlift with a reverse fly combo, right? We'll do six on each leg. So for this exercise, we wanna keep in parallel, right? So we wanna open up like arabesque, really using our low abs to keep our hips square to the floor, and we'll make a T with our body. We'll do our fly, coming back and up. So that's one, all right? We're gonna do six on each side, two. Keeping those abs in. It's tricky for the balance too. Right, you could do that without the arms, right? So you can just go straight down and, and down. straight up. Out, down, and up, down, out, down, and up down, out, down, up, and down, out, down, up. I'll show this one from the side, for the other side. So six on the other leg, down, out, down, up. On the way up, you wanna drive your heel into the floor, right, so unlike ballet again, right, where we have our weight in the ball of our feet. Three, two, heel presses into the floor. And up, down, out, down, and up. Two more, down, out, down, and up, down, out, down, up. Good. Taking either one or two of our gallon waters again, um, we'll hold them up close to our chest and our neck, right? And we'll do a side lunge. It's okay to let your hips go back, right? Not like ballet where you have to stay upright. Hips can go back and then you come up to a single leg balance, right? We'll do eight on each side. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Other side, one. Two, three, four, five, and six, 
and seven, and eight. Good. Coming back to our water bottles, we're gonna come down on all fours. Actually, we only need one, right? We're gonna do a tricep kickback with a little bit of stability, so we're gonna take one of our, our legs off the floor, the opposite one, that'll have the water bottle, okay? Our arm will come up, um, elbow just above your rib cage, really locked in place, and we'll do 10 times straightening the arm, right, without letting the elbow change position. Three, four, five. You could do it Six. without the leg extension. So Seven. All, um, you'll have three points Eight. on the ground versus just the two, right? Nine. So you have a little more stabilization as you do the exercise. Ten. Good. Setting the water bottle down. We'll now draw little circles with our arm and our leg, keeping our abs tight. One, two, You could do three, just the four, legs without five, the added arm. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Reverse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Now the other side. I'll face the camera this time. Right? All right. So other leg up, left leg or left arm up by your side. We'll do one, two, squeezing at the top, three, four, five, abs in, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Now we're drawing our little circles. We'll do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Coming up to a plank, we'll do 10 push ups. You can either do straight leg push ups or you can do push ups with your knees on the floor. All right? So here we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. I'm going to hold my mic pack so I don't jostle it around too much. Now we're going to finish. Um, we have two more exercises, but we're going to do six, or 20 sautés in first, right? Keep those just jumping muscles going. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Good. Last exercise to finish the circuit. We're going to lie down and we're going to do some bridging. So we're going to press up for one, keeping our abs tight. We'll extend our leg out, roll down. Six on each leg. Up, out, roll down. You can do it without Three. the single leg release, right? So you can just oh. do slow with Roll. two legs up and down. down. Four, out, roll, down. Five, out, roll, down. Six, roll, down. Other side, up, out, roll, down. Two, out, roll, down. Three, out, roll, down. Four, five. Last one. All right, that's the end of the, the first round of the circuit. Uh, We'll grab a, a quick sip of water, and then we'll do it two more times. After we've done uh, three rounds of the circuit, we would do this last finishing thing um, to keep endurance in our calf muscles, right? So I'm gonna use a chair, but you can use a kitchen counter or a bar or anything you might have. Um, we're gonna start in plie on a single leg, right? And we'll roll up, 
and down, keeping the standing leg bent at the same angle the entire time, right? And we're gonna try to get up to 20 of these. And four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and nine, and 10, and 11, and 12, and 13, and 14, and 15, and 16, and 17, 18, two more, 19, and 20. Right, and then we'll repeat with the other leg, right? Staying in plie, you wanna keep that same knee bend throughout the entire releve. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, four more, and three, and two, and one. Good. Now we'll take a break for our legs for a second, and we'll do a series of side planks, right? So for this, we're gonna do it for one minute. You can hold the side plank just by itself for a minute, or you can do some of the variations that I'm gonna do, right? So bracing ourselves on our forearm, elbows in a straight line with our heels, so we can have a straight line through our body. We'll press up. I'll start my timer here, right? So you can either hold this like this, right? Or you can do 10 leg lifts down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Now we're going to do some twisting if we're ready. Keeping our hips how they are, we're going to twist our shoulders down and up for ten. Two, and three, and four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good, and we're just gonna hold the last couple seconds till the end. All right. Good, so swinging around, we'll do the other side. All right, here we go. Starting with our leg lifts, we'll go up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good, with the twists, one, two, three, four, five, and six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then holding till we're done with our minute. Just like with normal plank, you want to keep your abs in towards your spine the entire time. Good. So that was our last core exercise. Now we'll come back with our bar or our chair, and we're going to repeat with straight legs, right? So for our gastrocnemius, we'll go up, down, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, 
eight, nine, ten. Halfway. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other leg. I am doing these in parallel so that we can really lengthen on the way down. Sometimes when we're in turnout, we don't get as much length, right? Because we're in a different alignment. So really strengthening the eccentric part of the exercise. We're halfway. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. All right, good job. You guys have made it up to here. Make sure that you stretch your calves, right, and your soleus before you finish your workout. All right, thank you very much.